Hello and welcome to lesson four of this optician course. Uh, my, in this lesson, we're going to be discussing minor and major ocular conditions. So first we'll go over top four minor uh, ocular conditions, and then we'll get into the major ones like cataracts, glaucoma, macular degeneration, diabetes, and the eye. We'll discuss that as well. So with that said, let's talk about first the four minor ocular conditions. Floaters. Floaters are small dark specks, stringy or blob-like in appearance that appear in front of a person's field of vision, in front of your eyes, you can see them. If you experience floaters, you'll notice that they move as you move your eyes. They can be annoying, but they aren't dangerous. They're just debris inside the eye that's floating around in the vitreous. They don't disappear, so they'll continue to wander around and reappear in front of the visual field once every while. Subconjunctival hemorrhage. A broken blood vessel in your eye due to a strong cough or sneeze or or it can also be a side effect of a blood disorder or an anticoagulant medication. It is, the good news is that it is harmless and it goes away <clears throat> in a few days. And an easy way to remember this is hemorrhage usually has something to do with blood because hemo means blood. So you can understand that if it comes on the ABO exam, uh, subconjunctival hemorrhage has to do so something with a uh, broken blood vessel in your eye that is usually harmless and goes away in a few days. Next we'll talk about conjunctivitis which is the pink eye. We briefly mentioned it in previous lessons but this is the inflammation of the conjunctiva makes the conjunctival blood vessels more prominent causing a pink or red colored eye. It can also make the eyes itchy or crusty. It's important to get it checked out, but it's usually a temporary condition as well. The next we have on our list is hordeolum sty. In other words, a hordeolum forms when an oil gland in the eyelid gets clogged and infected, creating an inflamed or painful lump. If you develop a or deal them, your eye doctor will probably prescribe antibiotics. Generally, a sty will clear up in a few days. Next, we'll get into some of the major ocular conditions or eye conditions. And one of the most major ones is cataracts. So cataracts is the crystalline lens. Your, your lens, which is supposed to be crystal and clear, starts to turn yellow, brown, or cloudy. This happens almost to everyone due to normal a aging. By age 80, more than half of all Americans either have a cataract or have had cataract surgery. Why does it happen? When we are young, our lens is crystal clear, but as it consumes harmful UV light and normal aging changes to the lens chemistry, um, it it turns yellow, brown, or cloudy. And this is the kind of vision that you, uh, this is normal vision on the far left. In the middle, you can see mild cataract, and on the far right, you can see a cataract that is just advancing and causing the image to be more and more blurry. So how to detect this? In most cases, eye examination is required to detect cataract. However, when cataracts are very advanced, a stage we call mature cataracts, they are clearly visible. They may look like a yellowish or white spot on the pupil. Causes, causes, uh, main causes is aging as mentioned, but it can also develop in children or young adults due to drugs or genetics. Some of the more common causes are diabetes, steroid medications, and smokers tend to get cataracts early. Juvenile um, diabetic cataracts, when a child has diabetes, they are at risk of early cataract. Congenital cataract is when children are unfortunately born with it and need immediate treatment. 
and also injury or trauma can also call, cause this discoloration in the eyes and blurriness due to a cataract. Best prevention method is to just wear sunglasses when outside and also to keep a healthy immune system. New research suggests that diet rich in antioxidants can significantly help reduce risk of cataracts. Things like fish, omega-3 fatty acids, and vitamin A, C, E, and minerals like zinc, lutein, and copper all increase antioxidants and fight those destructive molecules called free radicals that can be destructive to your eyes also. So it's always good to keep a healthy immune system for better vision health. Prevent, best prevention is to wear sunglasses because it happens through UV rays. But um, best treatment once you have cataract is surgery and it can be cured with a successful um, cataract surgery. Glasses prescription that are common for such patients is removing cataracts via surgery right away is not always the first option. Doctors might delay surgery until vision becomes completely blurry. Until then, it is important to suggest your patients to select glasses with anti-reflective coatings for night vision and UV coating for day vision on their lenses. There are also amber colored tinted lenses and help with both daytime and nighttime vision of people with cataracts. So amber colored tinted lenses can help with both daytime and nighttime. And this is the anti-reflective coating. As you can see in the left picture, there is the glare, but with the anti-reflective coating, there is no glare at night from the headlights. The next condition, major condition that we're gonna discuss is glaucoma what and when. Glaucoma is a group of related eye disorders that cause damage to the optic nerve, which carries information from the retina to the brain. It usually occurs after age 60. However, some children are born with it, a condition we call congenital glaucoma. <clears throat> Whenever a disease is related to children, it'll have uh, you know, congenital followed by the disease because it means genetical. In its early stages, glaucoma usually has no symptoms, which is what makes it so dangerous, unless you get regular eye examinations. If untreated or uncontrolled, glaucoma first causes peripheral vision loss and eventually can lead to blindness. Two major types of glaucoma. Angle closure of glaucoma is pressure builds up inside the inner eye this damages the optic nerve because fluid can't drain out of the eye. And the open angle glaucoma is damage occurs to the optic nerve even through even though eye pressure is normal or even low. So angle closure glaucoma is damage to the optic nerve due to the pressure building up inside the eye. Open angle glaucoma is damage to the optic nerve but normal or low pressure normal pressure building up inside the eye so those are two types of common glaucomas major risks include vascular blood vessel diseases that affect the blood flow to the nerve for instance diabetes a disease that affects the blood vessels is a risk factor for glaucoma Certain neurological conditions can also increase a person's risk of developing glaucoma, and eye injuries can be a culprit as well. Main symptoms of glaucoma is loss or extreme loss of peripheral vision. Eventually, the person develops advanced tunnel vision. However, the central portion of the vision can remain intact. <clears throat> so as you can see in this picture example, that the, this patient has lost its peripheral vision but they can see from the center. So that is what glaucoma is. Can you prevent glaucoma? Some promising research suggests that moderate regular exercise can lower risk of glaucoma. Best treatment, treatment for glaucoma include eye surgery and eye drops that help lower the pressure in the anterior part of the eye. Unfortunately, surgery does not cure glaucoma in most cases, and any vision that is lost cannot be recovered. 
So surgery is great treatment, but it won't recover the patient's already lost vision. That is the most unfortunate part about glaucoma. So the peripheral vision they lose, it's gone. Glasses prescription that are most recommended. There are several factors to consider. Since glaucoma affects peripheral vision, you want to recommend glasses that enhance people's ability to see the sights. Avoid thick rimmed frames. Go for as light as possible and recommend anti-reflective for better look and vision at night along with recommendations of sunglasses in the sun to prevent cataract along with glaucoma. Because you don't want them Glaucoma patients who can't see the peripheral to are now also develop cataract because of UV rays, and then they'll have a blurry vision disease as well. So you want to always recommend your patients to wear sunglasses when in the sun. The other major disease is macular degeneration. So as glaucoma was peripheral vision loss, this is central vision loss because macula is the group of cells at back of the eye on the retina that provides the best vision when a person is looking straight ahead. And macula also has rods and cones that can tell color better. So it is pretty, pretty bad, almost blind, but thankfully it still remains peripheral vision. So as you can see in this picture, normal vision on the left and macular degeneration, you can see the center because Macula is in the center, and this is macular degeneration. Two types of macular degeneration are wet and dry. Surgery can slow or stop the progression of the wet type, although surgery can't restore the vision that's already been lost. The dry type progresses much more slowly and than the wet type and isn't treatable. So just like glaucoma, surgery uh, can treat the disease but cannot restore the vision that's already been lost. And surgery for macular degeneration is only available for the wet macular degeneration. It can stop or from it from progressing. And however, the dry type, which fortunately progresses very slow, but isn't treatable through surgery. Genetics and environment. If macular degeneration runs in your family, you're at increased risk. But if you avoid smoking and excess exposure to ultraviolet light, you can lower that risk. Amsler grid test is a general test for patients to test their macular degeneration themselves. To use the grid, patients cover one eye and look at the dot in the center. Macular degeneration that's progressed will cause some lines in this grid to look wavy or gray or disappear altogether at the center. And these vision impairments will become more dramatic as the condition worsens. So as you can see, a normal vision person will look at the black dot in the middle of this left picture and they'll be able to see. But a macular degeneration patient when trying to look at the center will see an image like so. As you can see, it's the central vision loss problem. Eyeglass prescription for macular degeneration is lenses tend to be thick and heavy with high magnification to enhance peripheral vision to make up for lost central vision. As a result, these people's lenses tend to be very thick and heavy. So instead of recommending a very large frame, you'll want to recommend a thinner but sturdy frame and thinner lens material for cosmetic reasons to draw attention away from the thickness of their lens. It is also always best to recommend anti-reflective coating and UV sunglasses. Lastly, diabetes and the eye. People whose diabetes isn't under control have high levels of glucose in their blood, and this can damage the blood vessels and the nerves in the eye. This damage in turn can cause severe vision problems like early cataract and glaucoma or even blindness. Good news is when diabetes is under control through insulin shots, medicine, or diet does not cause or risk extra vision problems. Diabetic retinopathy is when diabetes is uncontrollable, the blood vessels in the retina can leak, causing blind spots in vision. So in this lesson, we discussed the minor and major ocular conditions and we talked about the four 
minor ocular conditions, cataracts, glaucoma, macular degeneration, diabetes, and the eye. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe for future lessons. And if you need the notes, the link to it will be in the descriptions. Thank you.